In this video, we're going to be talking about electrochemical cells. Before we start that, let's remember that metals lose electrons when they react. If we have a more reactive metal, then that is more likely to lose electrons. So metals lose electrons and a more reactive metal is more likely to lose electrons. The most basic electrochemical cell consists of two electrodes made from two different metals. They are then placed in an electrolyte, a solution that contains ions which the metals can react with. The electrolyte will help carry the charge around the circuit. Finally, the two electrodes are connected together using a metal wire. Now remember, both electrodes are made of metals, which means both of them want to lose electrons. However, different metals have different reactivities. Let's suppose that metal A is more reactive than metal B. In this scenario, both metals can't lose electrons. Therefore, the more reactive metal, in this case A, will lose electrons, and therefore metal B will have to gain electrons. The flow of electrons is what generates electricity. We can connect a voltmeter between the electrodes to measure the voltage. Changing the electrolyte can affect the voltage. Or changing the type of electrodes. So you can actually get many different combinations of electrolytes and electrodes which all produce different amounts of voltages. The bigger the difference between the reactivity of the electrodes, the larger the voltage produced. The positive and negative terminals of each cell can be connected together in a series. This will create a battery. The voltage of the battery is a sum of the individual voltages of each cell. Okay, so let's have a go at doing a question. So it says that two simple cells are set up below. If the metal used for electrode A is less reactive than the metal used for electrode B, then the cell voltage will be positive. Calculate the voltage of a cell where electrode A is potassium and electrode B is iron. So to answer this question, what we're going to do is look at the information given to us in the question and then sort of create a scale of reactivity. So for example, looking at the first cell, the one on the left, we can see that electrode A is made of zinc. So we can say A is made of zinc and electrode B is made of potassium. Now the overall cell voltage is plus 1.10 volts, which means it's a positive number. And now referring back to the question, if electrode B is more reactive than electrode A, the voltage will be positive. Therefore, we can assume that B is more reactive than A, so potassium is more reactive than zinc. And we'll call that difference 1.1 volts. Looking at cell 2, we have electrode A and electrode B. Electrode A is made of zinc and electrode B is made of iron. The overall cell voltage is minus 0.5 volts. This time it's a negative number. And going back to the question, if B is more reactive than A, it will be positive. Since the cell voltage is negative, that must mean that A is more reactive than B this time. So zinc is more reactive than iron. And that difference, we can call that 0.5. So going back to our scale, we're going to now put iron over here, Fe. And that difference is 0.5 volts. Remember, when we're doing our reactivity scale, we're just looking for the difference in value, not the sign. So now looking at the question, calculate the voltage of a cell where electrode A is potassium and electrode B is iron. Now looking at our scale, we can see that potassium is at the top, so it's more reactive than iron. Since potassium is more reactive than iron, and we said that electrode A is going to be potassium and electrode B is going to be iron, so therefore A is more reactive than B. Going back to the question, if A is more reactive than B, it will give us a negative voltage. So we already know that it's a negative voltage. The next part is working out what the difference will be. So looking at our scale, we can see that the difference is going to be 1.10 plus 0.5. So that gives you 1.6 volts. So the final answer should be minus 1.6 volts. Hey guys. 
If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.